Hi everyone, it's Lou from FootyTeesAndMore.com I am here with this tutorial This is a very intense smoky look using the Naked Smoky Palette I really enjoy it, it's very sultry, very sexy and uh, I think this is very easy to make and you can see I added some false lashes and some nude lips But first I wanted to talk about this little mirror. This is from Mirrorvana and uh, for my followers if you want to purchase this mirror you can find a link down below with $10 uh, off. I really enjoy it. It's very easy to assemble. You can see there is a base and there is a pole and you just have to screw the base to the pole and the base is quite heavy so it's very stable. I love the design of the mirror because it's very sleek and classy. I think that on my vanity it's very chic. And you can see you can adjust the mirror like this. You can check out the info box down below to get a coupon code for this mirror. I don't receive any commission from the code, it's just for my followers. I hope you will enjoy this mirror as much as I do. So now we can move on to the makeup tutorial. I am using the Naked Smoky from Urban Decay. You can see it helps you to create a smoky look, but it has also a large range of eyeshadow for everyday and daytime look. So the first shade I'm going to be using is this dark one with the brush. I'm I'm patting the product here onto the lower part of my eyes. Now I am using this smoked shade to create the transition between the rest of the lid and the black color. And of course it's a long process, you want to blend that so that there is no harsh line between the skin and the makeup. I'm using Armor. I love this shade because it's a nice grey, but uh, you can see it has some speck of glitters in it. I'm going back with Password and I'm blending the grey to the rest of the eye, again to avoid any harsh line. Now I'm going back with Armor that I apply here onto inner corner of my eyes. And I'm using black market again onto the lower lash line. Now this is a black pencil from Makeup Geek that I apply onto the water line. And I'm adding a little bit of the black eyeshadow to set the cream formula. I'm going back with the glittery shade here to give some pop to the grey color. Now this is Afterglow, this is a pigment from Makeup Geek that I apply onto the inner corner so that it intensifies the look and I really really love a shiny eyeshadow like this one. I use some Fix Plus onto the brush so that the product sticks into my skin and it is more intense. Now I'm using the two lighter shades of the palette onto the brow bone to give some volume, a 3D effect onto the lid. And again some blending. Now still a little bit of password because uh, when you blend the product it can be uh, washed out so I'm adding a little bit more product. And again also onto the lower lash line and a little bit of pigment again. Now this is the lashes, I'm using House of Lashes Pixie Lux, my favorite, I use them constantly. Now some mascara, this is from Urban Decade, this is per version, I apply the product like this to mix my real lashes to the false lashes and on the bottom lashes like this.
Now this is the final eye result and uh, you can see it's very intense, very dramatic. We had some shimmers and I really really enjoy it. You can see all my looks are very easy to achieve. You only need to take your time to blend the products very well. Now we can move on to the face. I'm using some contour powder. This is from MAC. And you know the drill on the cheeks, onto the jawline and onto the forehead. Now I'm adding a little bit of glow and I'm using this bronze shade as a blush. On this video the colors are very intense, very strong but uh, in real life it wasn't that strong. I'm using Moonstone here on the cheekbones, you can see it's very intense so you need to use a very little amount and you also you can blend the product to avoid any harsh demarcation again. Now I'm using this combo for my lips. I'm using Whisper and this is from Nude Stick. I like this shade but uh, you can see it's very light compared to my real lips. So you really need to use a lip pencil to draw the outer part of the lips. I'm using a Spice. It defines my lips, it corrects also the shape because my lips are very uneven. And using a darker shade on the outer edge of the lips really helps you uh, to create a more wearable look. And now the last touch, I'm adding some gloss onto the lips. Now this is the completed look. I really enjoy it. I really enjoy this look because it's very sultry. And I think that for summer when you add a little bit of bronzer and nude lips like this, it's very very pretty. And I hope you will enjoy this look and please um, join me on Instagram where I post every single day. And if you have some requests, let me know in the comment down below. So see you next time!